Hey guys, Elizabeth here of Dandy Soap, and we are going to rework this tree. I have been wanting to do the Easter egg tree, and I have some sphagus moss. And this, if you'll remember from Christmas, was the funnels from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take this ribbon off and use it for another project, and that way I can use these funnels. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, here are my options. I can either cut this off and it'll make it shorter than what I want, or I can build it out. So I'm going to use paper towel, cardboard, and a magic marker, and I'm actually going to use some hot glue, and I'm going to build this out to where it's as broad as this, where it will come out and broaden. It's not real bad at all, but, uh, you know, you can kind of work it. You just want to make sure that you unroll it and pull it apart so that you can easily work it in between your eggs and fill in the spaces. a little bit of interest to our Easter tree. I want to darken this and I also want to wrap, almost make it look like a grape vine is wrapped around it. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I got this idea from In the Event with Karen and her link will be in the description box below. You're going to love it. She Basically, you can use either the creepy cloth from Halloween, or you can use gauze, or you can use cheesecloth, either one. And basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave mine this white color because I'm actually going to show you guys a technique of darkening up your moss on your tree. So I'm going to take this loose, and we're going to basically cut like a little strip out of it an empty uh, paper towel roll then I'm going to wrap it around and then that way it'll dry and it won't take this long to dry okay guys basically just take and put just a small amount of Mod Podge you won't need much because there's very little of this gauze and so I'm just going to make me a little bit of solution here as I said you won't need much Okay, just set that aside and let it dry. And now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of truffle and I'm going to my empty Mod Podge bottles here. And this is the Waverly Truffle, guys. We don't need a whole lot because what we're going to do is we're going to water this down that's why I'm just sticking my brush handle in here. I'm going to use the sprayer from off my adhesive spray that came from Dollar Tree. Because this sprayer will fit the Mod Podge bottle perfectly. Make sure it's good and shook up. And then we're going to put that sprayer on there. And then what we're going to do, guys, this method is we are spraying that color onto this moss to deepen it, to make it a little darker. If it gets on the eggs, don't worry about it. Just have you a paper towel handy because we'll wipe that egg extra off of there. So now we should add some flowers and berries. To top off our little Easter tree. Give it something a little extra.
Okay, guys, I've got this little bird that I got from Dollar Tree. And I think he looks handsome up there. It does have a little clip on it. But I am not so sure how that's going to work. So I may have to take that out. Just save that for another DIY. I think I'm going to put that bird right there on top. Okay, now I've cut me a piece of cardboard, and I am going to fasten it to the bottoms. Now, guys, I got this cake stand, this little small cake stand from Target in their dollar spot. And here we got our little Easter egg tree with our bird sitting on the stand so that concludes this one now we get to move to the next one okay guys we have this St. Patty's Day hat, and I have been saving this, and today is St. Patrick's Day, but I've been wanting to make me a bunny top hat. As you guys know, if you follow me, I love top hats, and I have this thing for them, and I've made several this year, um, or for Christmas through the season, and that kind of was my thing that I got started on. But if you'll look around, you'll find the beginning, and you can just take this off. Now, the nibs on the side of the brim, and right here around the top, we want to take those off. And I'm actually using a pair of scissors. Okay, now I got this white burlap at Walmart. And this is in the floral department, so you should find it pretty easy. It's fairly easy to come by. And this they call five and a half inch um, wide. So um, it is going to be sufficient to go around this. You could use fabric or anything around this, guys. And so I'll probably have to go around this twice. This upper part I'm actually going to use as a flower frog. And I'm going to be using that as my grid line and put a floral arrangement in it. So all I'm worried about is the outer perimeter. And I'm just going to wrap it around here a couple of times to see how much I'm going to need for my upper part. And that will make it easier for me to work with it. Now, right here on the side, guys, where I've cut it to allow it, you want to cut to where that slit's there, and then you get a whole piece. So your slit's going to be in between. That way it doesn't show up. And so starting here, I'm going to roll that under and glue it to the underside. And that'll take care of that. So I decided to go with the burlap because I'll use this all the time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 
I call it a messy button bow, so to speak. But I also know that I'm going to be putting a floral arrangement in this. So you want to make these kind of odd pieces of ribbon. I'm actually going to cut that to give it a little more interest. I don't want to cut it all the way, but just so this is loose. Okay guys, so we have our floral arrangement done, and we've got our little berries in here, and I think she would look good from about any angle you want to put her. She just looks really, really cute. I just love these. I love these little blooming flowers. They look so good. Okay guys, there she is. That's our little floral hat. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I certainly did. I've been wanting to make this little hat, and it turned out so fantabulous. I'm just really pleased. And I'm glad you guys came along with me. So there we go. We have our little Easter top hat arrangement in miniature style. I think she looks quite well. hope you guys are able to make your own. Or one similar. All right, guys. That's the end of our floral top hat well guys here we are at the end of our diy for today now we learned three projects in this one of our little easter tree we learned how to take our spagus moss and make it a different color and we also learned how we can take gauze cheesecloth or the creepy cloth from dollar tree and turn it into a type of vining as you could say, just like a grapevine. And we have $4.50 in our tree. And if you bought this out at Hobby Lobby, this is a dube. Or Michael's or even Joann's, it would cost you around $30. And then here we have our little top hat spring arrangement that we have a built-in frog in the top of it that will help you arrange your florals. We also learn how to make us a button ribbon bow. That is a wooden button. I got those from Hobby Lobby. You can also find them at Walmart. And if you go to Hobby Lobby, you can get them for a dollar when they're having their big sales. And we have about $3.50 in this little arrangement, which would cost you roughly around $30 as well. And here's our little rabbit from the Target dollar spot, as well as our cake tray stand for $5, and the rabbit costs $3. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed that basically in this one you learned how to do five things. You learned how to do your spagus moss, your vinery, doing the tree itself, and then over here the ribbon button along with converting that hat into an arrangement. And so this is the end of our DIY. If you are a new subscriber, hello, thank you, and welcome. I am so glad that you've joined me. And you guys, come over to Instagram and tag me over there with any of your creative projects. I would love to see them. And additionally, you know, if you haven't liked this channel already, I certainly hope that you will. And if you're a new viewer, please subscribe to the channel. Every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified of, an up of the newest video. 
and be able to join us. And I certainly want to see how creative you're being. And if you guys want a sneak preview of the next video you will be seeing, this is one of the projects you'll be learning to do. If you like this, please put it in the comment box or leave any comments. I look forward to reading them and I will respond immediately. You guys, until the next DIY, this is Elizabeth saying thank you. Be crafty, be creative, have a wonderful, dandly crafty day. Until the next DIY, this is Elizabeth. Over and out. Bye, guys.